What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, TJ, and I'm back again with another banger, man. Today is about to go down because today I'm going to be reacting to NBA Ben 10 Deadly Drive-By Shooting Cousin Kill, bro. And this is this right here, I got to react to it because it's going to let me know the scoop on what's going on. I, I ain't did too many reactions with Ben 10 in it. I don't know too much of his background except for what I heard from y'all. So I'm actually going to put myself in the midst and react to it. All right, so let's jump in. It's been a tough year for the NBA crew. Not only is Youngboy on house arrest, but his right-hand man, NBA Ben 10, was yeah. allegedly involved in a drive-by shooting that got his cousin killed. See, Let's I didn't even fucking know about what went this. Down. On December 3rd, 2021, around 11.30 p.m., police deputies from the Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office were called to investigate a truck that was not moving in the middle of I-10 near Prairieville, Louisiana. Damn. The police quickly realized the vehicle had been shot multiple times and there were two victims inside. One male victim was dead, and the other was brought to the hospital and expected to survive. Police ain't revealed the identities of the victims, but confirmed it was both from Baton Rouge. A motive ain't been established, but police say they was likely targeted, and the shooting wasn't random. According Damn. to rumors, the victims were NBA Ben 10 and his cousin. You gotta move more safe, Ben 10. Straight up, bro. You top just got out, man. House arrest for him right now. Can't He, he doing his thing and everything like that, bro. But he... He, he, he's stuck right now. You know what I mean? He's stuck. Bro, we need you in this music game, man. Before y'all niggas go out there and do some street shit, do some music shit straight up. Shooting wasn't random. According to rumors, the victims were NBA Ben 10 and his cousin. Ben allegedly survived, but his cousin, unfortunately, lost his life. R. At this, this time, cousin, the identities of the victims have not been confirmed by official outlets. So for now, it's just a rumor. NBA Ben 10 is one of young boys' day one homies. They grew up together in Baton Rouge, along with Youngboy's brother, OG3, three, who was also three. Ben's cousin. Three introduced Ben to Youngboy, oh, and they've been cool ever since. Okay. He was one of the first dudes they recruited when they first started NBA. Ben 10 is also the brother of another NBA affiliate named NBA Pap, who was arrested NBA in connection Pap. with the murder of NBA's main rival, G Money. Oh, Even though he's still pretty young, Ben 10 damn. has a long rap sheet. Not much hold of his early on, life is man. known, we can't, but he and Youngboy were both arrested hold on, for attempted hold on, murder. Hold on, hold on, bro. I, I know you want to talk. <sighs> but check this out, bro. I didn't know that shit. I didn't know Ben 10 brother was young. Pap, I mean, was a uh, 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 NBA Pap nigga. I didn't know Pap was a nigga kill G Money. I, I know y'all probably like, nigga, you just don't see that shit in the reaction, in the video shit. Look, look, nigga, NBA, NBA, NBA. You feel me? I, I'm hearing NBA, nigga. Look, look, look. Bruh, I, this is some new shit. This is some fucking new shit. And this is going down, bro. Back up. in 2016 and almost lost it all before they became famous. On November 2nd, 2016, police were called to the 200 block of Kentucky Street in Baton Rouge. They received reports Kentucky that four Street. male suspects drove past and fired shots at two male victims standing on the front lawn. Damn. About a mile away, police found a male victim in a silver Hyundai sedan parked on May Street. The man was shot in the neck and brought to the hospital. Bro, the other man, men in the car crazy. had already fled the scene. A lot of you niggas dealing with rappers be riding around some regular ass cars, man. I gotta say that shit, man. May Street. The man was shot in the neck and brought to the hospital. The other men in the car had already fled the scene before police arrived. Only that nine hours so before, like, there was another shooting that left an 18-year-old high school student dead. Keandre Riggs had been shot in the chest less than a block away from his crib at 1951 Nebraska Street. Riggs was also a local rapper who went by the name Boozilla and was Youngboy's cousin. Boozilla and Youngboy had a complicated relationship. At one point, they was beefing, but they eventually made up and was cool at the time of his death. Damn, Police believe the drive-by on Kentucky Street was committed by members of NBA in retaliation for the murder of Boozilla. The man oh. brought to the hospital with a gunshot wound to the neck ended up being NBA affiliate NBA Joe. Police Joe. later arrested Youngboy, Ben 10, and another NBA affiliate named Big B, aka Self-Paid, in connection self with the shooting. But by that time, Youngboy was Nick. starting to blow up as a rapper and signed yeah, a deal with Atlantic Records in 2017. B, Salute to this uh, Youngboy and the rest of them niggas, but hey, Big B, that nigga, you feel me? Fuck with Youngboy 100%. Fuck with Ben 10. But, hey, Big B, that's that nigga. Rock with him, 100%. At that time, Youngboy was starting to blow up as a rapper and signed a deal with Atlantic Records in 2017. This gave him the money to help fight the case, and several record label executives showed up to court to testify on his behalf. Damn. Young boy ended up getting the That's charges dropped to aggravated shit. assault with a firearm and was granted a 10 year suspended sentence. Ben 10 was also Damn. charged with principal to attempted first degree murder for his involvement in the shooting and spent some time locked up. Prosecutors originally Damn. named Ben as a primary yeah, shooter in the attack, but court records show that while he was in jail, Ben made a phone call to an unnamed minor and told him to admit to being the shooter. This shifted the blame onto the other person. What the fuck? Hey, right, these niggas moving. These niggas. Name whole weight in these streets, nigga. He got a little minor to say it was him, nigga. 
Damn. These niggas move like gang, a lot like like mobsters, niggas, straight up. That's some real. Prosecutors mobsters. originally named Ben as the primary shooter in the attack, but court records show that while he was in jail, Ben made a phone call to an unnamed minor and told him to admit to being the shooter. This shifted the blame onto the other person, and Ben was able to get the charges reduced. He also received a suspended sentence along with Youngboy and got out around the same time. Even after his release, he and Youngboy wasn't allowed to be around each other, but they ain't exactly obeyed his order too closely. In May 2019, NBA Youngboy was shot at outside of his hotel in Miami, and several innocent bystanders got hit, including his girlfriend. Damn. Youngboy fired back yeah. and was eventually arrested in connection with the shooting. The charges was dropped, but it was revealed that Ben was with him, which violated their parole. Oh, so Youngboy spent about shit, 90 days in jail, the then got put on house that. arrest. That's some bullshit. That's some motherfucking bullshit right there, dude. How the hell you gonna tell me niggas who fucking care about me, who care about my well-being, who gonna fucking bust back, niggas who gonna be in the trenches with me can't be around me, bro? The government be on some bullshit. That's like a, a, a cop, you know what I'm saying? A cop can't be with his partner. What the fuck, bro? With him, which violated their parole. So young boy spent about 90 days in jail, then got put on house arrest for the rest of his probation. But even though he couldn't be around young boy, Ben still continued to roll with the rest of the NBA crew. Later that uh, year, he was at a show in Dallas with Baby Joe and OG3 when some people started being disrespectful in the crowd. Ben stopped the show to find out what they wanted. He yelled back at them, if y'all want to come punch me, come jump on the stage and punch me in my shit. Well, he then drops the mic, jumps off the stage into the crowd, and starts yeah. fighting the dudes who was talking shit. So it ain't hard to tell why the courts don't want NBA Ben 10 and Youngboy to be around each other, because they both got the same type of wild energy. Ben 10 and Youngboy Niggas eventually ain't reunited no shit. after his probation ended in December 2019. But it Let's be real, man. How, you can't call a nigga call a nigga a menace because they don't take no shit. You see, he was on stage doing his thing. Niggas started talking that shit from the audience, bro. How in the hell is that? Cops ain't gonna take no shit, nigga. You say you walk by and say for the cops, nigga. They gonna be on your ass, and that's just words. You know what I'm saying? And this on some words, but that you ain't directly like saying I'm gonna beat a cop ass. You saying for the cops, shit. They gonna be on your ass. So shit should be crazy, man. This is a fucking dude. These are in the streets, nigga. Fuck industry. Ben 10 and Youngboy eventually reunited after his probation ended in December 2019. But it didn't take long for Ben 10 to be sent right back to jail. Damn. On October 13, 2020, Ben was arrested along with seven other men in a federal indictment for various drug trafficking and firearms charges. Fuck. According to police, on September 17, 2020, Ben got his hands on an AR-15 rifle while under indictment for a felony. The other men arrested in the indictment were charged with crimes ranging from weapons possession to conspiracy to heroin distribution. According to court documents, Damn. police pulled over a car Ben was driving in and searched a nearby area where they found multiple guns hidden under a house. Since oh. Ben was a convicted felon after pleading guilty to attempted murder back in 2016, this was considered a violation of his ben probation. The, the documents also show at the time of his arrest, Ben had a lengthy criminal history and several pending charges. Between July 2017 and... Alright, criminal history is one thing, nigga. But pending charges, nigga? Damn, this nigga is with this shit. This nigga got charges pending, meaning he out on bond or parole, some shit, nigga. Shit is still going on. Investigation still going on. And niggas, hey. And they allegedly try to say this nigga. Well, they saying that he allegedly did some crazy shit, bro. I think the nigga free, bro. He did, look, he, he with his niggas. He ain't got time to do that shit. NBA young boy be busy, bro. You know what I mean? So he got to stay with dude. Ben had a lengthy criminal history and several pending charges. Between July 2017 and September 2020, Ben was accused of two drug crimes compounded by possession of a firearm, they another drug crime, too much, fleeing bro. police, second degree attempted Hell murder, nah. and several traffic violations. How could he be in all Plus, the places at once? That's bullshit, Chris also revealed bro. that Ben was found to be in possession of cell phones during his time in prison, which was considered a violation of the rules. Come the exact on, details nigga. of these charges Come ain't available, yeah, but shit. it seems like as soon as Ben was back on the streets, he started getting busy. What's also crazy is that police brought pics and videos from Ben's social media into evidence in the case against him. In one video, Ben was supposedly singing along to a song while holding an AR-15. In another photo, he's seen no. holding an AR-15 style rifle while a pistol was tucked into his pocket. So, the police were already- These motherfuckers watching. Hey, y'all gotta know, these niggas be watching social media and be entity videos. Whatever y'all post on these videos, that's why I only smoke CBD. You know what I mean? CBD, hey, hey, and hey, everything legit. You feel me? I even got a driver's license around this bitch. You feel me? Everything legit. You know what I mean? And we paying taxes, nigga. Yeah, you, 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 you move on. Go to the next, nigga. Seen holding an AR-15 style rifle while a pistol was tucked into his pocket. So the police were already monitoring his social media to catch him slipping. He eventually got released in September 2021, but he was only out for about six days before getting sent right back and to jail. I remember this. According this to arrest crazy. records, 
he was hit with five different charges, including distribution or manufacturing of a Schedule 1 drug, possession of a Schedule 1 drug, illegal use of a weapon, illegal carrying of a weapon, and possession of a Schedule 2 drug. Bruh. He got hit with a $10,000 bond for one of the drug charges and a $15,000 bond for one of the gun charges. You know he's gonna buy so, it So, in total, it came out to a $25,000 bond, 25, which he posted not long after getting picked shit. up, but he's still facing several what open cases it, at this time. It seems yeah, like the feds may be trying to build a RICO case against the entire NBA a, crew. Yeah, bro. Young boy was they recently released on house arrest bro. after being hit with federal firearms charges. Originally, he was denied bail and was forced to sit in prison to await trial. But after putting up $500,000 in cash and two properties worth over a million dollars, he was released to serve his house arrest on an estate in Utah. The conditions of his release also specify five, that he, he can't leave the house unless his travel plans are approved by a parole officer and he's restricted to you. Cash. Two houses million dollar houses that's 2.5 mil bro shit crazy. utah california or baton rouge to visit family or for work only plus the property will be monitored 24 7 by armed security who are there to protect him and make sure he follows the conditions of his release so it sounds like police have been monitoring the nba camp for a while it looks like they're doing everything they can to take down the entire crew and anytime they slip up it's right back to jail mm -hmm. if the rumors are true hopefully Van Ten makes a fast recovery and don't get jammed up in any more legal situations in the right, future. Cause they're gonna try to get you, nigga. Get they try and get you, nigga. Hold on, bro. Hold on. We we gotta make sure this shit is official, bro. Because we don't know what we don't know, bro. I know they ain't gonna make a nigga wait this whole fucking ad, bro. Hey, well, for real, this is an 18 second ad, bro. Oh no, we got this. All right, so so here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We we back in this bitch. All right, y'all. Now, what I think about the whole situation, I think they trying to get the boy, uh, uh Ben Ten with some bullshit, bro. I think they trying to plan a lot of shit on him, bro. Come on, nigga, all these damn charges, attempted murder, motherfucker assault, all that little shit, nigga. He wasn't at all those different places at once and been with NBA young boy. NBA young boy be from spot to spot, bro. How in the fuck could he have did all that little shit? And being with the busiest fucking rapper in the game, nigga. I, he ain't just an entourage. This nigga's in the group, bro. Hell nah. I don't, I don't see it happening, bro. I don't see it happening. Not with Ben 10. Not with none of these niggas, bro. You feel me? Free that man, man. Uh, 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 if he locked up. Yeah, it say he got locked up with some crazy shit. Free that, bro. Man, you know what I'm saying? We rocking with you over here at Hip Hop TV, bro. Straight up, man. But, hey, if y'all want me to do another one of these reactions, uh, know about a crazy story. What's the crazy story? You know that they got videos like this on, bro. I'm trying to watch it and read it and, and motherfucking dig into that shit. You feel me? Uh, but I'm going to be honest with you. The only way I'm going to do that is if this video get 40 likes, bro. I'm going to need 40 likes on this video. only way we're going to pull that off is if you like this video, if you subscribe on this video, and if you subscribe... If you subscribe to the channel and if you comment down below, you did. Make sure you do all that. All right? That's all I got. I'm at this thing. <laughs>